Today I'd like to walk you through CompuWare's ISPW Deploy Solution. It's a new offering where we can do, well, several things. First off is offering our deploy separately from our source code management solution. We've done this because we've had customers of other products like Endeavor or ChangeMan who have difficulty with their deploys. It's real problems in getting things out there and the rollbacks and keeping track of them. And when they see what we offer for our deploy, they realize that that's a solution that will be a lot easier for them to work with and a lot more secure and safe. And so we now offer a way that you can buy just our deploy and also the methodology to integrate with your current source code management system and then move things over automatically so that they can be deployed from ISPW. We also have put in a web browser interface. Now, here we see that we have the approvals interface, but we've now added a deployment interface. So let me show you that. It gives you a quick glance at exactly everything that you have going on for deploys. So if you have things that are pending, ready to go, you can go in and see those status and see exactly what's there and make sure that's ready. You can also see things that have been completed or that you terminated, or looking down here, I have one that failed. So let me look at that one. Now I can see the request ID, set ID, the environment, a description of it, all that when it was created. You can also see if there's a message involved. So let me go start there. This would be where you would be spending your time if you were managing deploys to go and look at this and make sure that everything was running properly. So I can go look at the message and I can see that it failed because a data set was not found. So that should be a simple thing to fix. I can go in, correct that, and once I've corrected it, I can just do a right click and I can do a restart and we're gonna pick up at the point of failure. So if things have already gone through and deployed successfully, we ignore those, we go and retry things that have failed. Now, the other thing we've got is, if it's complex, visualization. So that you can see exactly what it is. Now this one, okay, this is a simple one. So I can see that there's really only one LPAR, or system that I've gone to, and I only have one item that I've deployed. Simple one, that's not too bad. Well, let's go back and look at something that's a little more complex. So I can go and get, let's look down here. Here's one. This one will be slightly larger. It's still within one LPAR, but it has multiple. There's a batch part, there's a DB2 part. Sometimes you can have a CICS part. Now this only has one system. Probably what you're going to see is something more complex where you're going to have multiple boxes for different LPARs. That's where the visualization really helps because you can quickly understand what is it that I'm deploying. It's been successful, but what went out there? And if you need the details, you just click down here. Helps you when you're trying to plan them. Really helps when something's failed because it provides that focus. And you can see right from the first screen, I saw failure. You can drill right into it. And if it, there's a lot of pieces in here, I could see, oh, in one LPAR I was successful, this other one I failed. It provides that focus so you can quickly find out what happened and then fix it and restart it. So that's just a brief summary of what we've done with ISPW Deploy. We're going to keep working on this and providing more features in the future.